Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. And it seems that this is doubly true if you are called Keir Starmer. Rosie Duffield is still latching on and just eviscerating him in the press. I don't know how much longer Starmer can last, but Rosie Duffield, it seems, has much more to say about that strange man. Um, she says that he keeps surrounding himself with lads and has a problem with women. Well, I think we can all agree that that seems definitely to be the case. He does like to be in the company of men, by all accounts. But she's been stepping up her attacks on uh, Keir Starmer, uh, although she's got a lot of ammunition, I suspect. Um, obviously, she resigned um, from the party. She gave that big letter explaining all the problems with the party, with the direction of the party, and with him personally. She really does not, not a fan, as they say, not a fan. Um, and she's moaning about his corruption, his greed, his graft. Um, and basically moaning about what he is like personally. Now, she said that he has a problem with women and that she herself has suffered from this directly. Um, and he said it's very, very much the case that when he's in cabinet, he knows he has to have women there for the optics and to tick the boxes, but he doesn't like it. And whenever he goes into his little huddles with people, he likes to surround himself with other men. Um, they've got their, he makes sure that it's only the men that get the down the street passes. It's only the men that are allowed into certain meetings. He says the only woman, strangely enough, that, um, that is any sort of power with and around him, uh, of course, is Sue Gray. Um, but, um, there's many speculating there. The only reason for that is Sue Gray's got something on Starmer because effectively she is the prime minister. He's doing her bidding, but, these um, accusations of sexism aren't going away. Others have said about it. Um, people have complained. Um, Angela Rayner says she's been. Oh, he's been very dismissive of her in the past. Not since the, not since government, because obviously they've got to keep that ship there. But there's uh, there's all sorts of things, and of course you've got the ongoing uh, problem with even more. Uh, clothing allowance that he previously hadn't claimed. It's all very, very um, weird. But uh, Lisa, uh, Lisa, who won about? Uh, Laura Koonsberg, I don't know who Lisa is. Laura Koonsberg was interviewing um, Duff, uh, Duffield, uh, Rosie Duffield. And, uh, you know, that Rose, she's not holding back. She's just got plenty to say. And there's going to be more and more. And it seems it's not just even every day. It's several times a day. There's more and more. And the rumour mill in Westminster is running at full speed. Absolutely up. Now, everything's rumours, of course, but it seems that there's something about to happen. It seems that he is very much in a very difficult position and he may not be there much, much longer. Um, Sue Gray is alienating everybody. That's being a big problem. And now all this coming out, it's going to be a case of Keir Starmer is no longer in a position of authority. He might be the prime minister, but he has no authority now. People are talking behind his back. People are talking to his face. People are saying things. They're briefing against him. And they're not necessarily doing it now anonymously. Sue Gray knows that she's on her way out. There's others that are prepared to go. And it all seems that it's going to come to a head very, very soon. But the rumour is Tuesday, but like I say, it's just a rumour. Whether anything happens on Tuesday, I cannot say. Um, we know the story that's yet officially to be revealed, but we all know what it is. Um, and it's just, it's just an unending mess. And then constant, constant criticism. He's done. Why can't he just accept it and go off become a little backbencher and spend the rest of his time with whoever he wants to be with. And nobody will care. The only problem is, of course, look who follows him. God, that's depressing. Anyway, thank you very much. Let me know what you think. Speak soon. Goodbye.